Hey brothers and sisters, today is October 12th, 2023, and about a month ago, um, I shared a dream that I'd had about uh, a ship called the USS Kid, and I'm just going to replay the video here in a second, but I just wanted to do a quick little update that it has been deployed. I don't know where it's going. But this was from 23 hours ago. And at the time that they posted this, it was in the Pacific Northwest. These are just people that have kids and everything on the ship. Saying, be safe, my son, and all the crew of the kid. Prayers for my grandson and the crew for safe travels. Lord, please wrap your hands around these men and women during their seven-month deployment. So I'm just going to replay the video now. Hey, brothers and sisters. Today is September 6th, 2023. And um, back on August 31st, of 2023, I had a dream, and in this dream, I saw my aunt, her, her nickname was Tootie, and she recently passed away, so she's the dead in Christ, and she was smiling at me, and then I saw my Uncle Jim walking somewhere outside. Then I saw my cousin Brian, and this is my aunt and uncle's son. And he walked up to a few guys, and then he mentioned to them that he was Navy, which he is um, retired Navy. Then he was flying a plane, and on the inside of the plane, there was a black object that said KID, K-I-D-D, -D, in all um, capital letters. And I knew that it had... I knew that it had to land in certain areas, this black object that I saw that said kid on it. I knew that it had to land in certain areas. And I knew that Brian, my cousin, did not trust our government anymore. Okay, so this is what it looked like. I, I can't draw anything. But it, it sort of looks like a plane. But it was all black, and it said kid in all big letters. So I sent, I, I, this is my cousin, I sent it to him. I said, I had a weird dream about you. And I sent him the dream and then I said, I found this, which I'll show you in a minute. And then I, I found the USS Kid. It's a, it's a Navy ship, US ship. So I sent him that. And I asked him, were you ever stationed on that ship? And he said, I'm getting a little freaked out by the Maui fires in Hawaii. That last part of your dream is very accurate. No, but I think they were in our battle group on one of my deployments. The smaller ships escort the, the aircraft carriers. <sighs> So I found, I just, um, go, I didn't know what to look up. I just put in Navy Kid, K-I-D-D, -D, because I know nothing about any military anything. And this came right up. The USS Kid, the name of several U.S. Navy destroyers. This is the ship here. USS Kid, DDG-100. It's an Arleigh Burke-class destroyer in the United States Navy. She is the third na Navy ship named after Rear Admiral Isaac C. Kidd, who was on board Arizona during the attack on Pearl Harbor in Hawaii and was the first American flag officer to die in World War II. The ship is part of Destroyer Squ Squadron 1 of Carrier Strike Group 1, which is currently headed... 
by Nimitz-class nuclear-powered aircraft carrier, USS Carl Vinson. Okay. And it is active. This was just something I found posted on August 16th from the USS Kid. Okay, so. Then the picture that I drew was a black, it looked like a black plane, and it said KIDD on it. So I was led to this. A U.S. Air Force B-2 Spirit flying over the Pacific Ocean. This is basically what it looked like. And it's, it was black, like this. And they're, they're this color because the black, they're not, the, any radar is not able to detect them. And these bombers can drop conventional and thermonuclear weapons. <sighs> Sorry, all this is out of order. Okay, so... There was a first USS Kid, okay? It was named after this person that was killed in Pearl Harbor, okay? So there's been several USS Kids. Um, so he was killed in Pearl Harbor. So what I, th I think the Lord is saying here is um, that he's warning of the next Pearl Harbor event coming. Pearl Harbor was warned over and over again, and they just kept ignoring it. And then the Japanese destroyed Pearl Harbor, which then started World War II. I really think, like, he's saying history is about to repeat itself, but this time it's going to be with a new enemy, and that enemy is going to be Russia. And then... According to what I'm seeing being reported, out of 11 U.S. aircraft carrier groups, 10 are presently at home ports. This came out September 5th. This is just a map. of them all, all these carrier groups at port and where they're located currently. So all the U.S., all these ships of the U.S. ships are at port. And all the U.S. Navy battleships were at port at Pearl Harbor. And that's when they were attacked. And then I saw a stealth bomber on the plane that my cousin was flying. Like, an image of it. And then it said kid on it. And apparently, the U.S. sent some stealth bombers over to Europe recently. And Putin has just warned that if we send any nuclear weapons back over to Europe, that the U.S. will be attacked. And then I just want to read this. This is from um, Brother Paul, because I was, you know, talking to him about all this. 
He said in October 2022, I heard in a dream, miscalculation with Russia overnight. And I'm thinking about that also now. Definitely think pointing to the stealth bomber and the USS Kidd, which is part of a strike group, which is headed by a nuclear-powered aircraft carrier. So I just wanted to get this out. You know, it's also interesting because when the attack at Pearl Harbor happened is when the Holocaust was also happening. And we can see how close we are to Jacob's trouble starting. Especially now. I just think all this stuff is culminating together. So don't have any fear because I know that the rapture is about to take place and he's going to come just in time. We trust you, Jesus. So just look at him. Harpazo means to snatch out of harm's way by force. Just in time. All right, you guys, I love you. Hold fast. Believe in Jesus today. He died in your place for the remission of all of your sins. He was buried and rose again on the third day. All you have to do is believe that, and you are saved and sealed into the day of redemption. Buckle up, you guys. Jesus is about to come. Look up and hold fast.